All right, I am out here in northeastern Pennsylvania, and what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be looking for the marbled salamander, which is one of my favorite species of salamander. And as I search for it, I'm going to be seeing what other salamander species I encounter. Um, and then if I find a lot of different species, what I'm actually going to do is start driving to different locations to see if I can find types that I wouldn't be able to find here. Um, the marbled salamander is a fall breeder. It's a really pretty black and white salamander that gets like pretty large. Um, and most of the year they would live up on areas like this hillside behind me. Um, but in late August and September and throughout the fall, what they'll do is they'll stage down during rainy nights, come up from underground where they are always living, move down the hill, and then breed in the wetlands, uh, in the wetlands that are behind the camera. So um, I'm gonna see what I can do trying to find one. Dusky and some redback salamanders. Oh, no way. Northern red salamander. Totally didn't expect to see this. This is awesome. All right. That's cool. All right, so totally wasn't expecting to see this guy. Just dropped off the log. Um, I guess we've had a lot of rain lately, so this guy must be wandering farther from the wetlands. He's a juvenile, but he's really pretty. Alright, so uh, that was pretty cool. I uh, didn't expect a northern red salamander, but that's another species. So we've got northern red, red back salamander, uh, mountain dusky, um, and we're still looking for that marbled salamander. But uh, moving on, filming along the way, and uh, we'll see what we can find. Alright, so uh, now we're coming up on what I consider to be like the hot spot for these guys, uh, the marbled salamanders, and I am pretty sure we should find one here, so we'll see. Oh, 
Oh, okay, a little red back. I'll leave it alone. Check it right here. Nice little newt. That's pretty cool. Gently put it back down on him. Oof, almost went down. Oh, okay, slimy salamander. That's one we haven't seen yet. We'll take a look at that um, before it gets away. These are pretty cool. Tons of white little speckles all over them. They get quite a bit bigger than this, but this is like a medium-sized one. Um, pretty cool, something I expected to see. Not super uncommon. Uh, I'll put him back under his log. Right here. Pretty cool here. One Eastern Newt, two Eastern Newt, and a Redback. Put it down gently on them. Three Eastern Newts. Ah. Four Eastern Newts. Uh, no Eastern Newts, but pretty cool. Just flipped a little bit better of an example of a slimy salamander here. This one's a hefty adult um, he was under this rock so I'm gonna let him do his thing right in there see they're called slimy salamanders because they leave this like glue type stuff on you um, and it like sticks the dirt to you and it it's pretty hard to get off so not great but <laughs> So <laughs> I'll admit that that took longer than I expected, but uh, flip this log here, and you guys can take a look. And bam, we've got a nice little marbled salamander. Uh, go ahead and pick him up. It's not a huge one, but it's a nice adult. Um, they get bigger than this, but as you can see, they're very heavy bodied salamanders, if that makes sense. Um, so, uh, one of my favorites, I think they're really awesome. shoots over. I'm gonna let this guy do his thing back down under the moisture and the log. Yep. Love those guys though. Such cool salamanders. I'm gonna keep looking for more. Um, and then soon, I think as we've seen a decent amount of species, what we'll do is uh, we're gonna go to a different site and see if we can pick up some more aquatic species um, like long-tailed salamanders, uh, two lines, northern duskies, stuff like that. Spring salamander 
could happen, but it'd be kind of hard. I guess I could make it happen. We'll see. This log, saw the red back, didn't think I had much, and then there we go. Let's take a look at this one. All right, so this one's a little bit bigger. Um, I should mention that it's taken me a while to find these guys, and they are rare species uh, up this far north in Pennsylvania. I know down in the south, uh, they're a little more common, even in like southern New Jersey, which isn't far from us uh, in the winter time. Uh, I find quite a few of these guys, uh, but I still love them. I remember finding my first couple and it was pretty awesome, so uh, yeah. All right, it's looking like uh, I'm not gonna go hit a spot for spring salamanders or a spot for long-tailed salamanders, um, but it was still pretty cool that we got to see some marbled salamanders, slimy salamanders, a red salamander, and uh, some other common species. Um, so uh, that's pretty much a wrap, but I'll make a video soon where I go to the long-tailed salamander spot because it's actually inside like a cool uh, abandoned like cave uh, pump house type thing. So I'll make a video of that soon and that should be cool.